Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to use Geometer Sketchpad, uh, specifically how to construct some parallel lines and then also <clears throat> how to draw a line through those and uh, find some measurements. Uh, this is in order to uh, show your students how to do this uh, as well as helping them to discover some different geometric properties. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, draw a line and the way that you do that is you come up here now if you notice this this is the toolbar in Geometer Sketchpad so there's different things uh, first one here is just uh, your pointer and I'm basically going to keep it on this this first one uh, this is to um, uh, create a point this is to create a circle this is to create lines and line segments uh, this one here is to if you want to put some text on it and this is if you want to create a brand new tool on your own so we're going to uh, basically stick to the pointer, the point, and the line tool today. Uh, the first one is line segment. Chances are when you open Sketchpad, it's going to be on line segment. By the way, let me just say that um, likely if you already own Geometer Sketchpad, you know how to open it and things like that, and it should already be installed. All right, so I'm going to create a line. So I'm going to go to this one with the double arrows. I'm going to uh, press basically anywhere and notice that a point shows up. I'm going to drag and notice a line shows up and I'm gonna get as, about as close to as horizontal as I can and then when I unclick uh, I have that uh, now what I want to do is uh, I'm just uh, right now I'm just scrolling so that's why you see that changing I'm gonna change a, I'm gonna uh, excuse me um, construct a point and then I want to construct a line that goes through this point uh, the bottom point that's parallel to the line so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select um, the pointer which is the top left and uh, I'm going to highlight the line and the point notice that right now they're both highlighted if you look at the point if I click on the point again it's unhighlighted if I click on it again it is highlighted so now what I'm going to do is go up to uh, construct and what I want is a parallel line and there's my parallel line now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a transversal through those. So again, I want to make sure I'm on the line. I'm going to start here at this point, and I'm going to take it through this line. And it doesn't really matter at what. It really could be at any angle. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to make it about there, I guess. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'm going to create some more points on this line. And what I want to do is basically anywhere that the line hits another line on that segment I want to put a point. So I'm going to put a point here. I already have one here and on this side I want to put one here in the middle. I want to put one down here and then on each of these sides. And that's just going to be easier um, for um, highlighting and for uh, finding the measure of these angles. So now what I'm going to do is come up to the left toolbar and I'm going to select the pointer again. I'm going to highlight, meaning I'm going to click on each one of these points so that they're all highlighted. And notice if you click on a line and you don't mean to, if you click on it again, it unhighlights it. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to give all of these points letters. I want to give them names. So once they're all highlighted, if I come up to display, and my pull down, I'm going to go to show labels and notice that it gives me a label for each one. Okay, now I'm going to click anywhere, uh, not on the lines of the points, and then they're unhighlighted. So now what I want to do is I want to show how to find the measure of each one. So nothing can be highlighted right now. I'm going to click on this angle up here and notice in the, the order that I'm going in is H first and then F and G. You could also go G, F, H, but you have to make sure that point F, where the vertex of that angle is, is the second. You have to go in that order. Uh, once I do that, I hit measure, and I'm going to come down here and select angle. And you'll notice that in the top left corner, my angle shows up. If I just drag my cursor over that, I can drag it uh, right to where that angle measure is what it is. I'm going to click anywhere and then I'm going to do the same thing now with this angle. Notice again that F was the second one that I chose. I'm going to come up to measure angle and now it's going to show up right here. I can drag that over to where it sits right there. Now I can do that for these two angles um, up top. I can do it for the ones that are directly below them and then I can come down here to the A, B, C, and D and do all four of those angles as well. I'm going to pull it for time's sake, just so you don't have to watch me do all of that. I'm going to pull one up that I've done already. 
and as you can see, uh, I have all eight uh, of the angle measures that are formed by a transversal cutting through parallel lines. Um, you can see that the angle measures, uh, for example, ABC top right, and the vertical angle, which is DBE, this angle, they're both 62.31, and they should be. Um, all, you should really see four angles, four, two sets of four angles that are the same. And uh, you see 117.69 is the other angle measures. Now students should really already know um, what angle ABC and angle EGF, for example. They should already know that those are corresponding. Now when the lines are parallel, all kinds of really cool things happen. For example, corresponding angles are congruent, but only when lines are parallel. After students can identify corresponding lines once the or corresponding angles once the lines are parallel, they should be able to come up with the fact that now that uh, now those corresponding angles are congruent. And there's a few others that uh, they should really be able to come up with. So this is a great way for students to discover um, properties of uh, parallel lines being cut by a transversal.